Oh, Are you all worth banning? <laughs> well, not yet. Do you think talent variety in Zero Tool is good or there's only one build? I think it's actually pretty good. He's got a number of pretty good options. He has more than one build. Legit more than one build. So, yeah. Pretty good. Now, I offered to maybe play Vala. But I don't think this map or this matchup is good. Vala gets shrieked by Kerrigan and by Faustad. And in fact by many, which is why you don't see her a whole lot, uh, Luke MK5. She's a low health, ranged assassin that doesn't have a huge range or a huge burst. So you can see how she's kind of out of the meta now. Looks like we have a support already and we have an off tank. Corby, learn to read minds. It's easy. God. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try to read minds. <laughs> Opinion on rapid displacement at level 1 for Zera. <laughs> you know that one is the lowest win rate, right? Reverse Dracula. Tower defense was my favorite flypy. Tower defense and Uther party. If the game calls for it, do you mind playing Zagara? Well, T Baggins, I think this game could not call more for it. I serve. I think uh, flame strike build is not bad for Kael'thas. I will try to go Kael'thas or something, but uh, oh, uh oh. So maybe Kael'thas. Kael'thas. Maybe another specialist. The crusade calls. Okay, we go Kael'thas. So Sonia bottom, but then at two minutes, Sonia will want to do camps, and then someone else will have to be bottom, and this gonna probably be me or Zaratul. Uh, I will not have an interview with Dustin Browder, Mad Hero, but I will have one with K.O. Milker. And I can ask him about plans for the Butcher. Unless Gamescom already is going to have a new Butcher. It's possible. So, if that's the case, I'll just show it on my stream on Wednesday, 10 a.m. Standard Central European Summertime on my channel, twitch.tv slash follow grubby. Don't miss it. August 17th. Wednesday, 10 a.m. Write it down in your calendar now. I like that name. Very good. Butcher is getting reworked, has been told uh, a while ago. Let's get this over with. Uh, I don't think this is a convection uh, game. And no one us. Man, can't this crown be green as well? What time is it for West Coast Canada? I don't know. Is West Coast Canada the same place as West Coast California? Like the same time zone? If so, it's 1 a.m. So be it. But I'm at work at 10 a.m. Quit your job, Poppy. Uh, I'm gonna go mana addict. Well, 
Kerrigan is coming for me. No. It's not. No, it's not the same Zeratul, it's just Zeratul Syndrome, I guess. The sun lights my path. There goes our only coins. <laughs> When should you empower your Q? If you're not sure if you're gonna hit it, hit it otherwise. 50% radius is a big deal. You never need to empower your Q if you have a stun coming up. I went for the reduced cooldown on stun. Pretty good against melee assassin teams. And I already have mana addict to help me with mana. I just don't get the range, that's all. That Netherwind would provide, but that's a huge cooldown reduction. Do you have an account on Korean servers? I think I'm like level 5 there, Infernal Gruff. That's my glob! Oh yeah. Uh, I think uh, you can go Flame Strike or Living Bomb build. I think they're both viable. My pleasure. Welcome to the future. I hear the dings on the other side. Your enemy has it out the sun lights my path. What are you waiting? <laughs> and no one are quell for us. I'll get Sun King Fury now. That's we don't be for free. Yeah, I know Novariella. I think they're desperate. It's disgusting, actually. Let's get the fire be right Go grab it. Outstanding. Running wild is also viable, so legit for Greymane. We can have a pre-level 10 fight if we go now. Indeed. This is too easy. The sun lights. 
Oh, now I'm here. Now we have to leave. Yeah. Uh, if if you can't contest, like if I go bottom and we can get a kill in five seconds, mm -hmm. then I should go. But if we can't, then I shouldn't. Hey, Surajit, thank you for subbing. My pleasure. Oh, I have mana addict already. Wow. I'll get Phoenix. It's it safer. I'd like to fight here. Peace. Okay, bye. No, 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 no. Just go, just go. Huh? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the fine choice. Okay, okay, okay. They can't pay at least. Yeah, stuff was going bad. Hmm. There was too much soak to actually give up. I feel like. Mm. I'll get explosion radius. You know they could dive me pretty hard here. It's okay not to get a turn in. If we didn't die, they also can't turn in. So we either should have tried all together. Uh, in which case we would have given up huge soak bottom and uh, top. Or uh, just don't go yet. Very good. No! Oh my god. I am too much for you. Oh my god. Jeez. Very good. None shall stand against us. This fort must be destroyed. Wow. 
Well, well, well. I'll go for a fa- Oh, there's no fountain here. The sun. Ooh, are they medevacking to the bottom or to the boss? Or to the bruiser? It shall be done. Your world is upside down. That just happened. <laughs> uh, well, let's just go for Arcane Dynamo, because I don't understand the rest. I mean, I understand Flame Strike exploding twice, but I didn't spec into it. Ah, oh, fresh feed. The feedy vac, not bad. And this Ariel is keeping me alive like a, like a deer. And no one are That shadow assault though. I should have tried to gravity lapse blind, but I didn't know where he would be. My pleasure. Looks to me like we need another two coins. Falstad is hurt. The fine choice. The ABC challenge will continue after Gamescom. Thank you, Morales. Fire, you blackguards. Isn't blackguards a funny word? Oh, I forgot that you can still stack your mana with mana globes. Even though you already have arcane hey, barrier. Man. Oh yeah, an arcane barrier also goes up in shields. Ah, oh, I became complacent about globes. We could have more shields on Arcane Barrier. Whoops. Yeah, well, it's good not to die for it. Let's just say it like that. Oh no. Yes? Nice. Oh nice. No. Wow. Your death is entirely worth it. Yeah, I think mana addict is good. Even though, even if you go flame strike build, I don't think you should take convection every time. Maybe sometimes. It does offer significant bonus damage, but a large part of it is burn flesh, which is percentage based. And without, uh, I mean, if you go for convection, you must take mana tap or netherwind. You cannot take energy royal. Grubby commentary. Whoa! Ooh, nice. Ooh. Well, that's still decent commentary. At least it's heartfelt, right? When should you go leap? When your team lacks initiation. That's when you go leap. And almost never other times. So let's say you have Sonia, Johanna, and Illidan. You could go leap. Because Johanna, she can initiate kinda, but not amazingly. Well, she can, she can initiate. Let's say you have only Illidan and Sonya. You should go leap. Who wants to take this Merc Cam? 
Uh, level 20, I will get Master of Flames. How exhilarating. We can probably get Johanna. It's a bit risky to go full on the warrior. It's okay. We lose uh, no gas. Because there is no gas, we can do boss. We can ignore the minion waves too. Yeah, he has Shadow Assault. Isn't that cool? So special, right? Oh, I was too far forward, so I popped the Arcane Barrier. Uh, that should be game. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> the boss route. Cool. Well, I really thought we were going to lose this, but some amazing marsh bits. Now, I would never recommend you to do a mosh pit with an ETC that has 10 to 15% life. But, he positioned perfectly from the shadows. And Ariel kept me alive wonderfully, except that one time. And uh, I got to do my stuff. And Sonia was a big distractor. Zeratul not with Void Prison, but still deleted a lot of important targets. Cool game. Once again, showing my build, Mana Edict, and by the way, you should keep getting Globes, yes. You'll get more Mana, more Shields. I went for Energy Royal, which I got a lot of value out of. Instead of 14 seconds done, I got uh, 5 seconds, every 5 seconds. Yeah, really good Ariel play, a true pleasure to have an Ariel on the team instead of, uh, you know, being the Ariel. We haven't had a lot of allied Ariels yet since she came out. Then I went for Sun King Fury. Together with, uh, you know, more radius of the living bomb, more damage and infinite spread. Because we do have ETC, we do have uh, my stun build, so a lot of people could be rooted in the same place, greatly enhancing the chance that living bomb spreads. Uh, we also have characters like Johanna and Kerrigan together, which can do a lot of spread. And I even saw, and this must be a mistake, People giving Chain Bomb to Morales all the time. And then uh, Arcane Dynamo, because it's hands off. Don't need to do anything with it. Just get bonus ability power mindlessly. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, and also having cooldown reduction talents like Energy Royal. And if you take it at 13 Pyromaniac, which I didn't have. But if you get it, that is also greater synergy with Arcane Dynamo. Because you're using more basic abilities. And finally I went for Master of Flames. My favorite is actually the Phoenix upgrade. But of course, if you're going for a uh, Flame Strike build, you should get the range. I played around with it a little bit in Quick Match a few days ago. Uh, right here. And it was Infernal Shrine, so I went for the full Flame Strike build. And it was pretty nice. The Flamethrower is surprisingly big range. So, maybe if I get to play Kel'Thas again, I can try it, but it has to fit the comp. Kel'Thas seems pretty okay to me right now. Pretty strong. He still has one of the most uh, impactful you. stuns on a ranged How character. How do you rate the mages now in terms of power and hug ability? 
Uh, huggability. <laughs> Chromie, the most huggable, obviously. Uh, if you hug her neck, she may take you for a ride. Uh, you know, because she's a dragon. Just like in How to Train a Dragon. Really cute movie. Uh, animated movie. I think the strongest one is uh, Li Ming. And... It depends for Hero League or competitive. I think Jaina is... Her win rates are good. And she's pretty strong. But she gets misplayed a lot. She's more difficult because she doesn't have a lot of escape. I think Kel'Thas is still pretty strong. But definitely not top ban, top pick. Gul'dan. Where's Gul'dan? Maybe 4 out of the 5 mages. Maybe 5 out of 5. Something like that. Very huggable though. Did you see the Warcraft movie? Gul'dan uh, hugged to Durotan. Who knew that it was going to be a romantic movie? Gul'dan is too strong. Reign of Destruction, my favorite. My boo. Gives way to the my boo boo. <laughs> Your time is at its end. Satisfaction guaranteed. Pretty impactful. Will there be replays from Gamescom on your channel? Yes. You will have the Twitch VODs. You will have the YouTube. Yes and yes, not Kira.